Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on probability in probability and statistics course. The given problem is two dice are thrown simultaneously then find the probability that the sum of the numbers is 7 or the product of the numbers is 12. Okay. Suppose we are taking one die. Each dice has six faces. That six faces has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Whenever two dice are thrown simultaneously, where first dice has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the second dice has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, therefore, total number of total number of possible outcomes when two dice are thrown simultaneously where each dice has six numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is equal to here First dice has the number 1 and the second dice has the number 1. Next, first dice has the number 1 and the second dice has the number 2. First dice has the number 1 and the second dice has the number 3. First dice has the number 1 and the second dice has the number 4. First dice has the number 1 and the second dice has the number 5. First dice has the number 1 and the second dice has the number 6. Next, first dice has the number 2 and the second dice has the number 1. First dice has the number 2 and the second dice has the number 2. First dice has the number 2 and the second dice has the number 3. So, in the same way, we have to fill all possible outcomes. 3 comma 1, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 3 comma 4, 3 comma 5, 3 comma 6. Next, 4 comma 1, 4 comma 2, 4 comma 3, 4 comma 4, 4 comma 5, 4 comma 6. Next, 5 comma 1, 5 comma 2, 5 comma 3, 5 comma 4, 5 comma 5, 5 comma 6. Next, 6 comma 1, 6 comma 2, 6 comma 3, 6 comma 4, 6 comma 5 and 6 comma 6. So total 36 possible outcomes we are getting when we are throwing two dice simultaneously where each dice has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So therefore, exhaustive number of cases. Exhaustive number of cases. So that is denoted by n. That is equal to 36 possible outcomes we are getting. Among the 36 possible outcomes, we are considering two conditions. 
the first condition is sum of the numbers is 7 okay here we are taking favorable number of cases favorable number of favorable number of cases okay consider case 1 what is case 1 sum of the numbers is 7 sum of the numbers is 7 among the <coughs> among the 36 possible outcomes we have to identify whose sum is 7 so what are the order pairs that satisfies this condition 1 comma 6 1 comma 6 so that is 1 plus 6 that is equal to 7 next one 2 comma 5 2 plus 5 that is equal to 7 next one 3 comma 4 3 plus 4 that is equal to 7 next one 4 comma 3 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7. Next one 5 comma 2. 5 plus 2 that is equal to 7. Next 6 comma 1. So that is 6 plus 1 that is equal to 7. How many number of order pairs that satisfies case 1? That is equal to 6 order pairs that satisfies this case 1. Next one case 2. What is case 2? Case 2 is nothing but product of the numbers is 12. Product of the numbers. Product of the numbers is 12. We have to identify which order pairs product is 12. Okay. So, what are the order pairs that satisfies that condition? 2 comma 6. So, that means 2 into 6 that is equal to 12. Next one, 3 comma 4. 3 into 4 that is equal to 12. Next one, 4 comma 3. 4 into 3 that is equal to 12. Next one, 6 comma 2. 6 into 2, that is equal to 12. So, 4 order pairs that satisfies case 2 and 6 order pairs that satisfies case 1. Okay. Total number of, total number of favorable cases total number of favorable cases that can be denoted by small m is nothing but whose sum is 7 and whose product of that numbers is 12 here 6 order pairs are there here 4 order pairs are there any order pair is repeated that can be removed here, here 3 comma 4 is there. Here 3 comma 4 is there. We have to remove this order pair. Next, here 4 comma 3 is there. Here 4 comma 3 is there. We have to remove that order pair. Okay. So, after removing these two order pairs, here 6 order pairs are there. Here, this one and this one. Two order pairs are there after removing. So, 6 plus 2 that is equal to 8 order pairs that satisfies both the cases. Okay, how many number of order pairs that satisfies case 1 and case 2? Okay, case 1, 6 order pairs are there. Case 2, 4 order pairs are there. When we are combining both cases, so 2 are repeated that can be removed. So 6 plus 4, 10, 10 minus 2, that is 8. These two can be removed. 
So total number of favorable cases that can be denoted by m that is equal to 8. So therefore final probability final probability so p is equal to m by n m is nothing but favorable number of cases divided by exhaustive number of cases favorable number of cases is m is nothing but 8 and uh, n is nothing but total number of possible outcomes that is uh, 36 so that is equal to 2 by 9 so this is the final probability for satisfying the two cases sum of the numbers is uh, 7 and product of the numbers is uh, uh, 12 when we are throwing two dice or simultaneously where each where every dice has the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 in this way we have to solve the problem okay so each and every dice has six faces so first dice has six faces and the second dice has six faces uh, the total number of possible outcomes is nothing but 6 into 6 that is equal to 36 possible outcomes. These are the possible combinations of first die numbers and a second die number. Okay. The each and every order pair contains two coordinates. The first coordinate belongs to the first dice and the second coordinate belongs to the second dice. So, in this way, we have to solve the given problem. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Divvela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Please share this channel to your friends and classmates after subscribing my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.